everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Peak Bugger Designs. Today I'm continuing my Halloween series with a fun treat box that uses our envelope, mini envelope treat boxes. Um, I'm also using the Scary Cute Bundle. I've got several of these projects over on my blog as well as a free PDF, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube and go over and visit. So our envelope tree boxes look like this. They come in a package, they're already ready for you. They even have adhesive on them, which I love an easy treat box. Um, inside our treat box, I have two of these. These fit perfectly. I got them at my local grocery store this year. Ghoulish Green M&M's Twix and Snickers. So we're using two of the Twix. Now I wanted to add some decoration to it. So we're gonna add some um, lines across diagonally. And um, you'll see on my original, I have two different colors, but what you can't see in the back is some smearing. I started off using a Gorgeous Grape Stampin' Write marker and I found that it smeared way too easily. So I'm switching over this time to Highland Heather. Um, it, smear, it can smear, but not nearly as bad. Um, you just gotta be careful. So I'm not gonna be real particular. I'm just gonna take my ruler and slide it as I go, I'm not measuring, I'm not gonna worry about these lines being perfectly spaced. If you use your ruler, they will be straight, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, just keep sliding them until you get off completely. Whoops, I just set my marker down right there, don't do that. Let's turn it and go the other way. You know, when you're making treat boxes, especially when they have chocolate inside of them, don't be too hard on yourself. They don't have to be perfect. Anybody who receives a treat box from you is going to be so excited that they are not even gonna see any of the imperfections, okay? I promise. Now, turn it the other way and let's add some more lines. I got this idea from a friend of mine who works at Stampin' Up. She made one of these boxes um, doing this exact same thing with uh, pumpkin pie, Cindy Schuster. So Cindy, thanks for the idea. I loved it. Couldn't wait to try it myself. All right, now we're gonna switch over this way and start moving our way down here. Now these boxes, of course, can be left white but why it's kind of boring. <laughs> I wanted to make it fun, especially uh, during Halloween. Uh, let's see if we can get one more. Whoops, one more, one more. Okay, there we have it. All right, as I mentioned, it has adhesive already. Woohoo! so you don't have to worry about that. Just burnish those lines. Get them going in the direction that they need to go. Then you're gonna peel off these little adhesive backs like that. That's probably the hardest part <laughs> is getting the adhesive back off. Your take your pick tool is comes in very handy for that. All right, so fold the tabs in like this and just stick them to the sides, okay? Make sure they're even. The adhesive is really strong. Your box is not gonna come apart. All right, then let's put in our Twix and fold these in and then very carefully slide these two little clasps together like that. Okay, right, we're now. gonna create a belly band to slide up and down that box, I've got a piece of Parakeet Party um, cardstock, and I'm just gonna stamp this boo all over it to give it some interest, make it a little more fun. And I'm turning the paper, turning my stamp. I don't want it to be all exactly uniform. Let's see, how many more can I fit? Maybe one more. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take this and you're gonna wrap it around. And I like to kind of crease those corners like that. Get them matched up. 
And then take your adhesive and we're gonna put stamp and seal right here on the back and fold it over itself, not to the box, okay? And then that way it'll slide up and down and they can just slide it off to open their box because I know a lot of people who I give treat boxes to wanna keep the box. So if they have to tear into it, then they're not gonna like it when it's done, when they're after they've eaten their chocolate. All right, now I've got some Parakeet Party ribbon. I'm gonna wrap it around twice and tie a bow right here on the side like that. I'm gonna kind of spread those out. They should have crisscrossed over a little bit. Let's see if I can get them separated. There we go. All right, now take those, your scissors, trim that off. All right, now, we're gonna stamp that boo again in um, craft white ink and we're gonna emboss it. And then we're gonna punch it out with a little label punch. All right, let's see how I did. Very good. So white craft ink, some white embossing powder. Tap, tap, tap. You can take a, a paintbrush and get those little crystals off of anywhere they shouldn't be. And then grab your heat tool. And we're just gonna heat it for about probably 20 seconds. And as soon as it gets hot enough, you'll see the white start to get shiny. And you'll know that it's done. There we go. Nice and shiny and bright. All right, so now take that cute little label punch and punch that out. Now we've got our little Frankenstein cutie here, trick or treating. We're gonna stamp him in stays on onto a basic white stylus shape circle. He's my he's my favorite stamp in the whole set. Little cutie Frankenstein trick or treater. All right. Now I have cut out a, a basic black rectangle from the contour scallop dies. We're gonna put him right there in the middle, and then you're gonna take two dimensionals, put them on your belly band. Overlap, and then we'll take this little, you know what, I think we actually want to use a mini dimensional here. So let me grab those, and we'll put this right here, like that. And then last but not least, let's add a few of these fun dots. These are the Glossy Dot Assortment, and we'll just add three, I think. One, two, Three. And there you have it. Easy treat boxes. These would make great treats to hand out at trunk or treat or if you're having a party um, because the box just makes it so much easy, easier than having to make your own. All right, everybody, please click the link and go visit my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Have a great Halloween. Bye-bye.